So I was searching through the interweb and the endless rabbit hole of YouTube to find some good content and I came across this channel. They were cooking food and everything looked good and then they came to the chicken. And I was like, man, I want some chicken. And I know we're not going to travel to Thailand right now to get some, so I wanted to try the next best thing. Driving around the area until we found a Thai place with some good chicken. I traveled to this little place called Tommy Thai. The menu looked good. But I was looking for that chicken. And maybe some pad thai. Oh yeah, sweet chili wings. Let's go. I'm gonna check it out. Mmm. <laughs> it's gorgeous. Time. Time. Have a look at the food up close from Tommy's Thai. And uh, you can smell the spices straight up uh, right when you open up the, the package right there for the chicken. So we thought they were full wings, not the little half joints, but we'll make it work with the full or with the little winglets here. Let's dive right into it. First up, we have the shrimp pad thai. And uh, looks good. It smells good. Okay. Oh, that's good. A lot of different flavors. Trying to figure out what the flavors are. The peanuts on the top give it a good little, good little uh, peanutty taste. Whatever that is. But I got shrimp. I didn't get the shrimp yet. Let me get a piece of shrimp. Mm. Oh yeah, that's good. It's like a light flavor to it too. I like, but yeah, it, got a, it has a good taste, good strong taste to it. I don't know if it's just a tad burnt, but it has a, uh, like a real strong flavorful taste. And we got some of these, uh, these wontons. So maybe throw some on that and also make that, yeah. So we'll try some of that on there too. On to the wings. And the main reason why I went to the Thai place today. Ooh, yeah! This is a sweet chili wings. Uh, check it out. This is mild, and dude was like, "Yeah, this is mild. You should be good." So let's uh, double check that. That's it. Oh, that's good. Nothing spicy, but seasoned really good. And uh, that sweet t does offset that heat. So he was on point with that. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's how you do it, folks. But yeah, really good. Let's try it with the little wonton things here. It tastes good. Crunchy and flavorful. Mmm, I like it. So it's definitely uh, a place that does do good as far as if you have a uh, taste for Thai food and want a Thai fix. I actually have somebody I know who went to Thailand and actually had authentic Thai food. So, um, what'd you say? Probably, uh, it's alright. B, right. B plus, B, C minus, but A. C plus. C plus. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not, like I said, they've been to Thailand and got the authentic stuff, so they know what Pad Thai is supposed to taste like and stuff like that. So they give it a C plus. Me, just being like a regular food dude, I would say you know probably B <laughs> minus. It has like a it's like a little it's a strong taste, and I don't know if it's from the actual flavoring on the Pad Thai or the noodles or the actual like some of it's a little burnt or something like that. But um yeah, it's but it's still good. But the chicken, I like the chicken a lot, so chicken probably get an A. So that's pretty good. But yeah. Hopefully we didn't make you too hungry with this. And uh see you next time. Tapibum out! Ta-da!
You are Global Finances. Let's go. <laughs> what are you waiting for? Subscribe!